One of the biggest changes to the My Vegas app and its reward redemption was the addition of premium My Vegas rewards and non-premium My Vegas rewards. Unlimited My Vegas rewards became feasible, and the potential for using unlimited My Vegas loyalty points shot through the roof. In short, you could manipulate the system to get a lot of really cheap or free things during a Vegas trip. But what's the difference between a premium and a non-premium My Vegas reward, and how can you tell? That's what we're here to clear up today. Is the Ace of Vegas, the Ace of Vegas. Welcome back to Ace of Vegas, my spinners and sharks. Ace here today, and we're going to go over the difference between a premium reward and a non-premium reward in My Vegas slots. Now, the My Vegas terms and conditions are a little vague when describing the difference between a My Vegas premium reward and a My Vegas non-premium reward. Luckily, our friends at MyVegasAdvisor.com were able to clear it up quite easily. A full premium reward is defined as the following. Full MGM comps are now considered premium rewards. This will be noted in each reward's terms and conditions. Players are limited to three premium rewards per 30 days per the terms and conditions. Non-premium rewards are defined a little differently. For rewards by MGM or our other partners that do not state in the terms and conditions this is a premium reward, you can redeem as many as you have the loyalty points to purchase per the terms and conditions. Treat yourself to a BOGO show logo cocktail, and a discounted room on top of your premium rewards. Now keep in mind this applies to all MGM slash MLife properties and the rewards on the Las Vegas Strip, so cruises and international rewards still have different rules outlined in the terms and conditions. Now that you know what a My Vegas premium reward is and what a non-premium My Vegas reward is, now we show you exactly how to find out which one is which. Starting with the desktop version of the game, there are two ways to find out if a reward is premium or not. First things first, load your My Vegas slots game in your browser. Second, click the gold coin icon representing your loyalty points at the very top of the screen. This will load up a pop-up with a green button that reads Explore Rewards. Click that button now. Third, select your reward either by category or by partner. Aria is a great example to use. Fourth, select a reward like a free buffet. For most premium rewards, the top line in the description will say this is a premium reward. Sometimes, as is the case in rooms, it may not. Room rewards have a slightly different wording. When you select a room you want, click the next button to see additional terms and conditions. You will read the following verbiage. Usage limited to X number of rewards from MGM Resorts International, regardless of type, within a 30-day rolling period. This reward is limited to one reward per My Vegas player. That indicates a reward is premium. Examples of premium rewards include comp rooms, comp buffets, and free play. Non-premium rewards will not be marked with any extra text. To confirm a reward is non-premium, select the reward and click Next on the description. From there, scroll down. The text will read, This reward is limited to X number per My Vegas player. This denotes a non-premium reward. Examples of non-premium rewards include 50% off show tickets, 2-for-1 cocktails, and 2-for-1 buffet passes. The method to find this on mobile games is the same. First, select your gold coin icon on the loaded My Vegas app. Second, click the View Rewards button on the pop-up on your screen. Third, select a reward either by category or by partner. Fourth, select an individual reward. At the end of the first paragraph in the description, a premium reward will say this is a premium reward. Non-premium rewards will simply omit this text. It's easier to identify a premium reward on the mobile version of the My Vegas app, but general rule of thumb is, if it's free, it's probably a premium reward and subject to the 3 and 30 day rule that we went over in our last video. If not, it's one of the many non-premium rewards that you're allowed to add to your itinerary as long as your pool of loyalty points will support your spend. Well folks, that about wraps up this video. If you enjoyed today's content, I'd appreciate a like, and feel free to subscribe if you'd like to hear from me again. Do you have any go-to My Vegas premium and non-premium rewards that you'd recommend to other viewers? If so, I'd love to hear them in the comments section down below. Until next time then, my spinners and sharks, this is Ace of Vegas signing out, wishing you all strong hands, and of course, happy spinning.